If you haven't seen the headlines yet, billionaire investor Mark Cuban said some choice things about gold, as well as people who invest in it, uh, and he also was talking highly of Bitcoin. So the podcast that he said this on actually came out today. We're going to listen to it and see if we can break down what he says. Like, would you buy gold as an investment? I, I have gold. Okay. Everybody likes to You know what? If you have gold, you're dumb. Well, I mean, it never, it's a, it's, a, it's a small part. It's like a hedge against everything else. It's a henchman it. against everything, but. Yes, it is. It's no, a, and would I be but it's not gold? Hedge, no. No, but it's not a hedge against anything, right? What it is oh, is a store a, value and you don't yeah. own the physical gold, do you? So Mark Cuban comes out the gate swinging. First, he says, if you own gold, you're an idiot. Uh, although he didn't put it that eloquently. Second, he says gold is a hedge against nothing, which is an interesting stance. Then he says gold is a store of value. So at least he's conceding that gold has some purpose. You can store value in gold. But then he asks Bill Maher if he owns any physical gold. No, no, of course. Well, I don't know. Who the f knows? It, what, it, what I know is that it never goes away. It's always worth something. You can always sell it. Just like Bitcoin. Bitcoin, gold is a store of value, and so it's, is Bitcoin. That, that's not, that's a, that is an apt analogy. Because you don't hold the gold. But, go, but the world is not run by gold. No, it's not. And it's not run by Bitcoin either. It's well, a, it's, it, but it's, yeah, you're, I mean, I can't deny that. It's, it, although it is based on actually mining something, which is crazily, that's why we got off the gold standard, because it's crazy to hook a, car a currency to what you can find in the ground. But, but you and your ownership, you don't own the gold bar. And if everything went to hell, hell in a handbasket and you had a gold bar, you know what would happen? Someone would beat the how do you kill you and take your gold bar? Okay, so there's a lot to unpack there. Now, Mark Cuban says that gold and Bitcoin are both a store of value. And I believe he's referring to digital gold or paper gold. He's not talking about physical gold when he says this, because after Bill brings up that we're not on the gold standard anymore, Mark says, look, if you owned physical gold, if you had a gold bar, someone is going to kill you and take that bar from you. So clearly he doesn't think physical physical gold is a store of value if someone can just strip it from you he's talking about digital gold they, and then they can use the bar to hit, to hit somebody and that's it you're not gonna what are you gonna <laughs> shave a little piece of gold so someone waves waves well, it i mean look it's, it's I mean, useless. If you, the right here mark is trying to say that you cannot use gold for money and this is simply incorrect he's saying what are you gonna do shave off a little piece have someone weigh it uh he's inferring that if you tried to use it as a currency it would be worthless well the reality is we have used gold as money for thousands of years and in fact last year people were shaving off little pieces of gold in venezuela to pay for things because their currency was going through hyperinflation their currency was the thing that was worthless and the thing that had worth and value was the physical gold the idea that money is an idea is not wrong no it's right but we tie our money to, I mean, Apple makes something. A phone is something real that you, you drop really in the toilet. You really need gold jewelry. If the world, no, but if you're gold obsessed jewelry with gold. Most of the economy is not gold. No, but the point Most is of the economy is iPhones, but which we're is talking a about real Bitcoin. thing with real value. Right, but we're talking about, and it's been valued at $1,000. So talking there it's about, pegged to something. We're talking about Bitcoin. And Bitcoin which is pegged to nothing. Which is, neither is gold, really. Right? I, again, gold if, you gold, was, own, if gold was controlling our economy right now, I would say you have a good argument. Gold is not. We got off gold in the third. No, that's, that's, you're making my point, though, Bill. You're making my point. When you own gold, all you own is a digital transaction. And there is the confirmation right there. So basically, Mark thinks that if you own physical gold, it's completely worthless. You're an idiot. Someone's just going to kill you and take it from you. But if you own a paper version of gold digital gold all you own is a digital transaction and he's actually right if the only gold you own is a gold etf you don't actually own gold you just own a coupon that says you have gold when you which own is Bit why we're not mostly in gold and, and that's fine right <laughs> i'm not mostly in bitcoin right it's just something i own okay but it's just it's it's this digital transaction and it it's a store of value. That's the term for it, a store of value. So people perceive that there's value associated with gold I mean, and there's I, value associated with Bitcoin. Now, when it comes to physical gold, I do not think Mark could be more wrong. You absolutely 
could use gold as a currency if you ever needed to. But beyond that, gold is a store of wealth. It's insurance. If there ever was a currency collapse, your wealth would evaporate except for the wealth that was stored in physical precious metals and physical assets. So I think gold is extremely important and everyone should own some physical gold. But when it comes to paper gold or digital gold, I kind of agree with him in the sense that it's similar to Bitcoin. They are both just numbers on a screen, but I do not think that either paper gold or digital gold, whatever you want to call it, or Bitcoin are a great store of wealth because there's a lot of counterparty risk. And if you ever needed to access that wealth, you may not be able to. However, with physical gold, you can literally pick it up, hold it in your hand. There's zero counterparty risk. So you're always in control of your own wealth. But the thing is, Mark Cuban has hated gold for a long time. Check out this clip from 2018. I hate gold. Gold is a religion. There's abs there's some some fundamental value to gold, but everything else it's it's a collectible. I, I see gold and Bitcoin as being the same thing. Well, hate is a strong word. Uh, okay. So the miners too. All of gold. The whole gold spectrum. Individually, as people, I've heard they're great people, but <laughs> as a, as an investment, okay. okay, you're right. Hate is not strong enough. Hate with extreme prejudice as wow. an investment. Oh, gosh. Okay, so Bitcoin and gold on the same level they're, they're, for you. They're both collectibles. Okay. They're, they're, the value is based off of supply and demand. And the good news about Bitcoin is there's a finite supply that will ever be created. And the bad news about gold is they'll keep on mining more. <laughs> Do you feel the same about silver? Or is there any metal you like? Yeah. Palladium, platinum? No, you I mean, I, I think... Um, I don't know those others as well, but those are pretty much based off their intrinsic value as much as I can tell. So you're in the camp of gold is just a pet rock. Pretty much. Pretty much. So there you have it. Mark Cuban is not a fan of gold, but this is not really a big surprise. There's a lot of billionaires and wealthy people out there who do not like physical precious metals because they view them as just an object that sits there and doesn't make them more money. They don't understand the purpose of physical precious metals. Most of the money that these wealthy people have made has been in fiat dollars or stocks, things like that. They understand those systems. The fiat currency system that exists right now, they're very well versed in that, but gold is somewhat arbitrary to them. But if we take a step back and think, you know, who is more wealthy than a billionaire? Well, we could look at central banks. Central banks, they literally control the supply of money and they love gold. They stack physical gold. They hold it on their balance sheet. So if a central bank wants to stack gold because they know that things can happen to currencies down the road, well, that's good enough for me. And if we ever went through a major currency crisis, you know, hyperinflation, something like that, well, I think Mark Cuban would actually find that a lot of his wealth could easily evaporate away. This is a $10 trillion bill from Zimbabwe. Now they went through hyperinflation and the value of their currency plummeted. Now, before they went through hyperinflation, if you had $10 trillion, you were extremely wealthy. I mean, you were a trillionaire, right? But after hyperinflation, you could not even buy a cup of coffee with this $10 trillion bill. If all of your wealth is wrapped up in a fiat currency and the value of that currency plummets, then you have no wealth. So that's why it's so important to store your wealth in alternative currencies like gold, silver, have other assets, right? Physical things that you can hold in your hand. Be like the central banks, stack gold. That's what I'm doing. I'm not listening to Mark Cuban. I'm not buying it for one second. Uh, but anyway, I do want to know what your thoughts on this are. Feel free to leave them down below in the comment section, and I'll see you all in my next video, Silver Dragons out.